Internet land. What is going on, guys? This is Joe Dickinson with the Ask Joe D Show, episode number six. I believe we're on six now. Uh, if you guys have been following me for a while, by the way, I actually have not put an episode up in a few weeks, I think it's been. Just been putting generic videos up and whatnot. Half the time it's, you know, me pulling up the old camera and speaking my heart and sharing some things and whatnot that hopefully bring you guys value. And it's just through some of the experiences that I went through. So, anyways, got a question the other day. Thought it was super relevant to shoot a video on. I was talking to a, a young lady and she asked me, Joe, how do you stay so positive with so much negativity in the world that, that always surrounds us? And it was such an interesting question because I think it's absolutely true. There is so much negativity around us within the world and you can do a couple different things to try and avoid it. One, you can try and just not watch the news or do any of that kind of stuff and not go out and not get subject to any of it, which I think is a little bit unrealistic. Um, or you can kind of fight it and combat it. Or you can try and just say, well, I'm not gonna let it, you know, impact me or anything like that, which I think takes a pretty strong-willed person. So guys, to help you in that fight, to help you in that battle, you gotta battle back. Right, so if it's filling your mind and you've lived for however many years it's been, like for me, I'm 24, almost 25, I got like 24 years of negativity in my mind sometimes. You know what I mean? Like I've been hit with it my entire life. I'm not saying the world is this terrible, disgusting place, but what I am saying is there is a lot of negativity going on that we're subject to each and every day. And so for you guys to be able to get past that and fight it in a sense, it might be a good idea to put good stuff into your mind to try and balance it out a little bit or get it all out of you. Hear some people screaming outside. Anyways, to go ahead and put some good stuff in your mind and kind of balance it all out and get some of that negativity out of you, like I was just saying. Sorry if I just repeated myself, got a little distracted there. Um, you know, and then you can take strides to really being more positive, having more of a positive mindset, or when negative things happen, you can deal with them a little bit differently because your mindset's starting to shift because you're putting good things into your head, right? So what do you do for that? Personal development's a great option. You know, every single morning, I start my day with 20 minutes of motivation. I'll go on YouTube, I'll type in motivation, or Tony Robbins, or Les Brown, or Ty Lopez, or any of these guys um, that really help me kind of get my demeanor up in the morning, and I'll listen to it, and that way I'm set for the day to go to war, right? So if there's negativity in the news, or people, or whatever, I can totally deal with it, right? So that's a really good way to kind of shift your mindset, work on you, and put good stuff into your mind so you can balance out all the negative stuff, and eventually, you're gonna turn the tables a little bit. Like, here's the negativity, here's the positivity, let's flip it a little bit. Right? Then you have a positive mindset. Everything's better when you have a good mindset. Because as you know, anything in life, 80% mental, 20% mechanics. Go make it happen. If you guys want daily determination and motivation, join my newsletter. That's dailydetermination.com. And I will see you on the next episode of the Ask Joe D Show, which will be episode number seven. Have an incredible day. Go make it happen. Strive for greatness. Talk to you all in a bit. Peace.